All right, guys, continuing on for the last vid. I do have like a turbo sound effect thing mounted in the exhaust. I'm be getting another one. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's it's a nice little light turbo sound to it. I can hear it very clearly here. I don't know if you can hear it there uh, on the vid. Sounds really good. Use that kind of uh, not rider type of uh, sound. And then of course. You know we have it on the uh, on the scanner thing also. So you can have that running like that, with the light turbo sound, and then you can always hit the switch, where it gives you the true uh, not lighter sound here. I will also have a longer one that will be playing through uh, the computer once it gets mounted. So it's sound like that, the, uh, the peak level there. And we continue on. That's just the uh, intro and uh, then of course the where it runs back down and stops. But it's running pretty smoothly now. Just like I did some upgrades and things like that. It's got the uh, k and filter and everything like that in there. It's running a lot smoother. Clean that the air box. The air box is filthy. Again, this car has been sitting for, for roughly over 12 years. The uh, the brakes are working fine now. I had to replace the master cylinder. Uh, uh, some of the lines and things like that were dry rotted. So uh, we got that all figured out and worked out. And some other things we got to do before we of course, the, uh, if you look in here, you might see the sensor light. Yeah, this over here. That sensor light is one of the reasons why I hadn't took it over to get it inspected yet, because that's the uh, for the airbag. This car originally came with the airbag on the steering wheel, so we had to figure out some way to either fill that or put the stock wheel back on uh, to pass inspection and then put the uh, the glowing, the uh, Knight Rider wheel, steering wheel back on. Do you one more thing while we got the vid going? You guys practice and enjoy. We'll see you some more on some more kit updates.